Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here, back and ready for a brand new special review on my channel because summer had just came to an end as it is already and the fall season has just begun even though we're in late September now but school is already back in session whenever it's elementary school middle school high school college university and I guess in some cases work places <laughs> You're always here for a special education and enough to get to an early start, not to mention getting ready for the future. Whatever you have to learn, fundamentals, and of course taking all these courses such as astrology, astronomy, history, science, mathematics, technology, geology, and a whole lot more. You get to meet some brand new teachers of any kind, meet some other students, you get to study and learn, get better grades, enough so you'll be able to receive a diploma for the future, so you'll be able to do whatever you want. And that's the case for this brand new peanut special streaming exclusively to Apple TV Plus since August 12, 2022. It's the 49th Peanut Special called Snoopy Presents Lucy School. It's where the Peanuts gang, including Lucy Ben Pelt, are very anxious about starting their new school in the fall while spending some time in the summer you know, hanging around, having the best time of your lives. So, with that aside, it inspires Lucy to start her own school instead, but teaching isn't exactly as easy as it sounds. Yeah, and that's the case right here. So, let's begin with the review. It stars Itane Kalasi as Charlie Brown, Haiti Craigton as Sally Brown, Isabella Leo as Lucy Van Pelt, Wyatt White as Linus Van Pelt, Terry McGarren as Snoopy, Rob Tinkler as Woodstock, Lexi Perry as Pepper and Patty, Holly Gorski as Marcy C. Johnson, yep. <laughs> Well, of course, last name. Caleb uh, Bellavance as Franklin Armstrong. Natasha Nathan as Patty Swanson. Charlie Boro as Violet Gray. Jacob Soli as Pickpin. Matthew Mucci as Schroeder. Jacob Mazarol as Jose Peterson. And Jackson Reed as Five Balls. Yep. It's uh, created by Charles M. Schultz, as we all know, because he wrote this, the characters and the comics of the strip. And it's directed by Raymond S. Percy. The special begins set at Birchwood Elementary School at Miss Altmar's class, which is their last day of school, because now they're going to miss their old teacher. The rest of the Peanuts gang are getting ready for summer. So that means they get to spend more time, you know, doing all these fun activities, such as catching fireflies, you know, having some delicious ice cream clones, you know, as well as having 4th of July weekend. Yeah, going to the beach, seeing movies, playing baseball go out for swimming and diving at a local pool, you name it. Well, that is until, well, we're already in the late final days of August, getting ready for September, because the fall season is about to begin, and Charlie Brown 
as well as the rest of the Peanuts gang, had just spotted uh, a billboard for their back-to-school sale. Because now they had to buy all the school supplies, you know, books, pen and pencils, erasers, notepads, you name it. Enough to get ready for their brand new middle school. But they are very afraid to step foot at it. So with that aside, Lucy unfortunately didn't want to go back to school and neither are the rest of them. So at that rate, she decided to start her own school so that way they can extend summer vacation as they know it. But teaching isn't exactly as easy as it sounds, but apparently she, she took teaching in possibly the worst way ever. So, she invited all the Peanuts gang, yeah, which includes Charlie Brown, as well as Frank Lynn, yeah, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, um, as well as Patty, Shermie, Pickpan, Schroeder, and even her brother, uh, Linus. They're about to begin to learn all of the education that she teaches them, you know, having to explore all these other um, learning abilities like like television, for instance, you know, like they were watching Star Trek. Yeah, this is, it's obviously this was said in the 60s because I know they did throw in this, uh, this Beach Boys cover song uh, that was done by she and him by the way, which was all summer long. Yeah, it was, it was the same song that they used in American Graffiti, by the way. And they also went to a miniature golf place where, yeah, they were learning uh, all the, the British history. <laughs> like they thought they were in London, but they're not. And I'm getting faint, which gets really suspicious for Linus though. Same goes with Franklin and Marcy. Yeah. Because now we could tell that Lucy is just up to no good. Well, what do you expect from Lucy? Because she's always been crabby and everything. <laughs> so they're going to all these other places. So it, enough for them to finally get their diplomas really early. So they can continue to have their summer. But things are just not working out as it seems. So Linus decided to have a suggestion to to call Miss Otmar to be able to to get a book and be able to have Lucy understand everything enough to be able to learn faster as they can. So at that rate Lucy decided to go to the library to collect some more books as well as, you know, grabbing a, a mug that says number one teacher and uh, <laughs> with pencils and, and all. Yes, she does tend to allow the Snoopy in Woodstock to enroll at her class too. So they went inside the, the garage, so that's where she started to practice and begin teaching all the, the students to be able to know everything, but wasn't working out exactly what Lucy has planned. But she had to take the risk elsewhere, having to spend all night, you know, studying all these uh, educational books and, and all. So she failed, um, broke the promise that they'll not have an extended summer. But at the end of the day, just when school was about to begin, now they finally had to face their fears. And at that rate, they're gonna finally be able to meet 
their brand new teacher and they're going to be able to enroll in class to take all these um, educational courses that they'll choose and Lucy begins to discover everything what she did during the summer as well as the rest of the Peanuts game yeah where it also teaches exactly how teachers are very important they, they are mentors they came to, to teach all the students how to learn all the values, history, and the future as we speak. And now they're hoping that they're going to get ready to experience a brand new semester. Yes, right there. So it's um, a very fun special, and it really teaches us right here that Yes, we do face our fears about enrolling to a brand new school, but it takes a while to get used to it. But once you keep on learning as far as you can concern, I mean, it had to take a lot of practice having to study all of the educational books and everything. And soon enough, you'll be able to take all these tests You'll be able to earn these grades, whatever it's good or bad or average. Hopefully, it's going to be even better than before. And that's what the Peanuts game had learned about. And so is Lucy because she's the center of them all. And also, she begins to feel the same way that everyone else has. And, and it also shows that Linus is also the one who's trying to help Lucy out even though in reality he too was afraid and it happens but no matter what you do no matter how hard you try you will always become an excellent fearless teacher and that should go for a lot of teachers around who experience this. Yes. So now you'll have the biggest education of them all. Yep, the animation is just incredibly solid, as always. As far as, as we're concerned, like all the other peanut specials that we had uh, when they were on Apple TV Plus in HD and all. And it does contain uh, two songs. They figured this was set in the 60s, though, so which makes sense. So I know they they had a Beatles reference in the special. I couldn't believe it because I know my father's a big Beatles fan. But it's kind of funny how Lucy eventually throws in a joke because she's obviously getting the history wrong about the British. <laughs> Like he thought, oh, the Beatles were basically just bugs that are just destroying the land. That's just crazy. Uh, they, of course, they also mentioned Star Trek, too. My father, of course, is also a fan. <laughs> what do you know? Because they've just mentioned Mr. Spock. Yeah, Lucy did. And, of course, we, we get, um, we get a Beach Boys song, even though it's a cover song. Uh, there's also uh, another song, also by She and Him, and it has to do with back to school. Yes, and there's even another moment, too, where they begin to learn about Amelia Earhart, you know, the, the first female pilot, who unfortunately got lost in the Bermuda Triangle. But she is indeed heroic. The special also has some several funny moments here too. Was when <laughs> when Lucy at the miniature uh, golf place, you know, with the peanuts game, because even though they're starting to see something suspicious about her teaching methods, there's five bolts was going around throwing all these uh, 
these uh, balls, yeah, golf balls, and then all the peanuts came and eventually they you know, rolled out uh, out of the the miniature golf place. Or when Lucy was trying to make a uh, this one particular uh, you know triple uh, diving stunt, which she failed. <laughs> made like a a big splash at times or even when uh, Snoopy was you know dressing casually brought in all of his equipment including the typewriter the calculators and all the notepads and everything <laughs> and it would stop joining in and the rest of the peanuts game at the at Lucy's classroom where she was trying to teach um, all of them everything which which you had Charlie Brown you know already spilling all the ink from the pen <laughs> where yeah he really had some trouble with and then and there's even the moment when Schroeder was about to about to teach uh, Lucy about uh, the Mayflower voyage because eventually she got that wrong by saying that you know, Christopher Columbus was was sailing off the shore. Yeah, so she, she got that wrong, and that's what led to that. <laughs> and all the memories that just happened. You know, like she even remembers the times when when she was at Miss Altmar's class. I mean, you see all the photographs. Yeah, even show the scene where Lucy just kicked uh, Snoopy because, uh, after all, no dogs are allowed. And then all these other moments here and there. So it really shows that no matter what happens, you're going to have a better life and a better future in a, this one brand new school. And you'll be able to hang out with your friends still, even if your friends wants up in a different class. And also try to pay attention to all your studies and all your works and everything. Don't fall asleep in class like Pepper and Patty does. Well, yeah. And soon you'll become very smart and intelligent than ever before. So that way you'll have a step up and moving forward to the next big thing in your lives. Because we all want that. We all want this dream to come true. That's the importance. So anyway, that's um, Snoopy Presents Lucy School. And I give the special... Four and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sephora, and I'll see you later. Bye.